CataractCoach.com. Let's talk about left-handed versus right-handed in terms of the differences in surgeon position for operating with a temporal or superior main phaco incision. Now, it's important because this determines access to the eye. Let's look at this picture. This is for a right-handed surgeon. Right eye and left eye. Now, the green area is where the right hand naturally falls. So it's very easy to make an incision if you're sitting temporally at the 180 or even 45 degree area or anywhere in between. And that applies to both right eye and left eye. If the surgeon's sitting superiorly in a right-handed surgeon, the right hand falls somewhere between 90 and 135 degrees. So anything in that area, it's very easy to make your incision there. And we like to make our incisions in general to fall on the steep axis of the astigmatism in the cornea. So right eye and left eye both have about the same results. A right-handed surgeon is able to make a temporal incision somewhere between 180 or 0 degrees and up to 45 degrees. And if sitting superiorly, again, between 90 and 135. You can also shift the patient's head and shift the gurney to even change the angle more, to even extend this further out. So instead of 45 degrees, you could even probably do 60 degrees. Let's switch gears here. Here's the left-handed surgeon now. Now, for a left-handed surgeon, if you're sitting temporally for both right eye and left eye, where does the left hand fall? Well, it falls somewhere between 135 to 180. So very easy to make our phaco incision if we're sitting temporally and we're a left-handed surgeon between those two marks. If you're a left-handed surgeon and sitting superiorly, then your hand tends to fall between the 45 and 90 degree mark. And we can make incisions there quite easily. So you can see we have a lot of area of potential axis, a little different for right-handed versus a left-handed surgeon. We're going into this now because a useful technique really is to do an incision on the steep axis, which can give you between a quarter to half diopter, typically a flattening, sometimes more. Or we can do paired incisions that can give you 0.75 to even one diopter of corneal flattening at the steep meridian. So we definitely want to be able to change the position of our phaco incision and be able to sit either temporally or superiorly and then do it so it suits our right hand or left hand, depending on the surgeon. Let's look at a couple examples. Here's 30 degrees of a steep axis in the right hand on a right eye, and we make the incision just like that. That goes great. That's at 30 degrees in a right eye. Now let's look at a different eye. This is the same right eye, but it's at 45 degrees. So notice how I shifted my position, shifted the speculum, and now we can make the phaco incision for the right eye, in this case, at 45 degrees. Very easily done. Here's a different one. This is 75 degrees. It's a left eye. And to do this, I switched to my left hand. I'm able to make the entire surgery with my right hand or my left hand. So we'll make the phaco incision here with the left hand at 75 degrees, sitting superiorly. And at the end of the same case, we're going to make it a paired incision. So here's the opposite paired incision. I switched my hands now because we're operating at a very odd angle inferiorly. And this is not an incision we're going to use for surgery. It's just to help the stigmatism.